there it's Anna so welcome to the garden today I'm going to show you an area of the garden that is not the most beautiful um it's kind of been a little bit of a junk area for the last past pretty much couple years but we're going to be changing that this is going to be a multi-day process but I wanted to just give you a little bit of the before and then we'll take you through this whole thing so this is where I keep my worm bin as you can see with my worm composting and I've just kept like extra things. This is an old planting trough that I used to grow in but it kind of started breaking and so I don't want to put like just fill it with dirt um, and I kind of like having the worm bin raised up um, but I want to make this area more beautiful and get some plants and kind of make it cute and um, pretty and fun and all of the things. So. I'm gonna go to the garden center probably at some point here in the next few days and get some plants and I'll show you how I'm transforming this, but I just wanted to give you the starting off point because here it is. It's not great, but we are gonna make it look better. And I'm actually really excited about this because I think it's gonna be really fun. All right, so we're starting step one of this process. I'm going to move off everything that's not staying here. <laughs> not going to live here and then I'm going to figure out which pots because I have a few extra pots here I can fit in and around this that will kind of fill this whole space and then once I have um, laid out you know where everything can go then I will or like how many pots I need to have here then I can go to the garden center and pick out plants because right now I'm not quite sure how many pots I can fit in this um, little trough thing and so I've got to get that and just get the rest of this cleaned up so that is my first step I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do that okay I need to come back and sweep and kind of move some of these things but here's what I've got set up I'm gonna empty out these containers they have old potting soil in them right now um but I've got a couple grow bags which I'm just gonna put like one or two plants in and then just a couple of these terracotta pots and I think once I fill them then they'll spill up and over and it'll be really really pretty um out here and then this is a little cocoa core that I use as bedding for the worms so that is I've got a big thing of that that I'm going to put in the garage but this will be just for topping off when I feed. And then I have this bag of sand um, that I kind of need to figure out what to do with. I added a little bit of like grit for um, the worms. I know they need eggshells or coffee grounds, like I'm adding those. Um, but I have the sand too, but I might just put like a pot on top of this here. That may be what ends up happening. I'm not quite sure what to do with the sand. I may use it in the garden too. Um, and then I just clean this and I'm gonna keep this really open underneath here because we have had that snake. I don't know if you saw my Instagram stories. We have a huge snake. Um, it's a rat snake, but it, it lives in the garden and it doesn't really cause too many issues, but you know, I don't wanna have like hideouts where it can live and I can be surprised by it. So I'm gonna, leave that space empty but I did put this pot here um, I ordered a passion flower vine online and most of my online orders came in and were great this year except for the one order that had the passion vine in it like never came it's I keep checking the shipping and they keep pushing it back I'm gonna have to contact them I don't really know what's going on with that um, but I may try to find another like shade vine that could go in this pot. I'm gonna look and see what they have. Um, and I will probably move, I have this lettuce container, which is actually growing pretty well in the shade. It's not as happy as it could be, but the lettuce honestly looks pretty good. And I need to harvest that soon. I thought I could maybe move it like that and kind of play around with having that in front. I don't know if I like that yet, but that might be an option. And then this pot actually gets like sun. So I thought I could do a fun pot there and that would be kind of nice. And this area will start to look a little bit better. I thought I was gonna really love having this window box 
Um, but it's kind of been hard to find a place for it in the garden. It's just been a little bit tricky, but I'm working on that. So I will touch base with you guys again once I have had a chance to go to the garden center and pick out some plants. All right, so I wanted to show you all these beautiful plants that I got for in the little um, pots that are in the, the planting trough. So this is a uh, coleus. This will do great in some shade and it's a spilling variety. So it'll kind of tumble off the side. And this is the burgundy wedding train. So I think this will be perfect. Um, it has these cute little uh, leaves and they'll just tumble and spill over the edge. And then I also got a sweet potato vine, which I know will get huge and beautiful. This is the um, Proven Winners. It's a sweet Caroline light green. So that'll be really nice and kind of pair well with this as my two spilling flowers. Then I picked up a basil because I'm really interested in growing basil in the shade. And this just looked like a really beautiful plant. It's the um, new fur basil. I don't know anything about this. Um, but large leaves and kind of classic flavors. So I thought that would just be nice and interesting to grow in a real kind of shady place. Then I grabbed a few of these. Oh, I've actually never um, grown this. Endless illusion, um, illumination. Shade, part shade to shade. And it comes in a pretty, pretty blue. And then I also got the um, endless flirtation, which is in a white. I didn't notice that there was this damage on the leaves. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I don't know if that's variation, but I think it's I think it's damage of some kind, but we'll see how that goes. I think that's really pretty. And then I picked up um, an Adrantham, and this is Pink Majoro, um, Sun to Part Shade. So it should do okay, because as you can see here in the middle of the day, we've got a little bit of sun coming in. I also grabbed a pick a bushel pickling cucumber just to do something fun. And I think that one I'm going to plant here in this pot and let it grow up here and kind of take off of that. And I might put one of these white um, and endless flowers in there with it. I think that would kind of be pretty for that. And then I'm gonna place the other ones and show you what I'm thinking. Okay, and here's how I placed um, the flowers for right now. I think it'll be nice to have a sweet potato vine on the edge because that one's gonna get so big. Coleus, the adjuranthum, we'll get a little bit more sun here and then these guys will do really well in the shade and we'll kind of see how the basil does. And I think that will be really pretty and just add a whole different look here and then this will match. All right, so today is the last day. <laughs> To work on this project i'm going to get everything planted today and then i will show you a final um, look of how the whole shade area is, is going i think it's gonna be really perfect i do have some used soil in some of these pots i'm just gonna refresh some of the soil with um, some worm castings that i have and a little bit of uh, kelp fertilizer just because i have some soil in some of these containers it wasn't really grown in for a long time so I think it's totally fine to use again but I just figured I would give it a little refresh get it all planted and then we'll water it in and let it grow but I'm so happy with this it's such a better use of this space and that that makes me feel really really good so I'm gonna get that all planted I need to come out and sweep up a little bit and kind of clean this area up but here it is planted <laughs> of course everything is looking you know like a little twisted like the sweet potato vine but give it just a couple days and it'll be all um, flushed out and I think it's gonna be so pretty and I actually really love this container already all right so here is the final 
look you know this is never going to be the most gorgeous area of the garden but i think it looks so much better it's at least cute and fun and bright i'm very interested to see how this container does over here that little area gets this little break of sunlight um and some really good afternoon light so i'm just going to keep an eye on that container but i think it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> And it's a couple days later now, so you can see that everything's kind of settling in. The basil looks so happy. I'll keep you posted on these throughout um, the summer in garden tours and kind of let you know how it's all going. But I'm really, really curious and I think it's gonna be fun to just watch this area and see how things grow. And maybe I have a whole new space in the garden that is really useful and actually beautiful and fun. Um, I did still keep one of my spray bottles here because I'm just working on some pest issues right now. So that was just handy. Um, there are some things like that that you have to just kind of keep around. Um, this is kind of like a reminder to me, but the rest of it, yeah, just beautiful. Um, and I love it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this project and following along and I'll see you in the next video.